What's happening, golf addicts? Hey, we are back. And I know you're excited as I am because we got all three through the cut. I'm your girl, Nita Rodriguez. Thank you for tuning in to the Toy Junkies 6K Bays of the Week. All right. And if you played them last week, you had you some green screens. Shout out to DirecTV Perry for getting the takedown and having Joel Diamond in his lineup. Who got us the top 10? Mackenzie Hughes with the 24th place finish. And Matthew Naismith with the 31st place finish. All right. So let's see if we can run that bet this week. And we're going to kick it off with Charlie Hoffman. All right. And I know. Who the hell is Charlie Hoffman, right? But he's our old man play that's going to get us those green screens this weekend. All right. And I'm here for it. All right. He plays 35th at the RBC Canadian, which he actually likes that course. So with his skill set and the way he rates out this week, I really like him for this course too. I also like the fact that he has experience. He's played this course 10 times, missed the cut once. All right. In those 10 times, he has six top 30s, three top 10s. So let's go ahead and plug him in for our GPP lineups and hopefully he gets us the green screens we're looking for. All right. Before we go any further, go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe to the Tour Junkies. All right. And make sure you ring that bell, baby. That way you'll know when that content arrives to your screen and you don't miss out on them fire ass plays. All right. Also, comment below. Tell me what your 60, sexy 6K bay is. And then I'll comment back, and we'll see if we got anything in common when it comes to the plays this week, all right? Now, let's go ahead and kick off our second play. And our second play is going to be Adams Fenson. I like Adams Fenson. DB likes him too this week. We actually consulted each other in this play, and we feel like he got the top 10, top 20 upside to bring us the green screens that we're looking for this week. Also like that he ranks well in birdies are better and opportunities gained. I love the fact that uh, he has played this course one time, but he did miss the cut, which is fine. That was in 2019. I think his form is a lot better. Uh, I think that he has the potential to give us what we are looking for, and I don't want us to miss out uh, just because of that one missed cut. So go ahead and plug him in, all right? He's also uh, gained some strokes off the tee, um, tee to green, and an approach, and I feel like uh, what we look for this week in our 6K plays, he checks all the boxes, all right? So go ahead and plug him in, and hopefully he brings you the green screens we are looking for. Our last and final play is going to be Mr. Hank Leviota, all right? And Hank Leviota, he hasn't been in his best form, but he has course experience here, and that is something that we are looking for. Uh, Mr. Leviota, he has... Gained two strokes over his last five events, all right? Um, he has course history here. He's played this event three times. His best finish is a fifth place finish, and that was last year. So I really like him at minimum price for a top 10 upside, all right? And when he played here last year, he gained nine strokes, all right? Nine whole strokes, all right? Five of those strokes came in putting. And... I really like that because uh, you really need to putt well on this course and uh, your, your short game has to be on. And he ranks well in both of those. He is boomer bust. Don't get me wrong. He is a boomer bust play, but he has the upside of a top five on this course, especially given his history. So I really like him overall for GPPs, all right? So that's what we got for you this week. We have Mr. Charlie Hoffman. We have Adams Fenson and we have Hank Leviota. I'm your girl, Nita Rodriguez. Thank you for tuning in per usual. And tune in again next week for your tour junkies, sexy 6K bays of the week. I'm out.